How's it going guys? Computer Madman here today and welcome back to another tutorial video and this video today I'm going to be showing you how to play Nintendo DS games uh, on your computer. Now uh, this is actually a very very easy thing to do so yeah let's just jump right into this. So the uh, the first place you're going to want to go on to is this website called roms43.com as you can see from the top left corner up here and um, you've got these different bar tabs along here and um, sorry about that guys so you can click on the NDS ROMs here and it will kind of do a um, like an alphabetical search sort of thing so you can search virus database the has been updated. alphabet like in order and stuff and then the next one we have is like the 3ds roms and you can do a custom search as well but i've just found one for demonstration which i'm gonna use and that is the professor in the curious village so to download it you just have to go to the show single download links and i use the keep to share one but you can use any any of these so it will it will open you into a new tab and once you get on here, um, you're just going to want to go down to you see the select your download option. You're going to click low speed because the high speed one you have to actually pay for it. Then all you have to do is just enter the um, capita, whatever it's called, the capture. That's it, yeah, capture. And then you gotta wait for this uh, time limit to end, so I'm just gonna skip it ahead once it has actually uh, finished. Okay, guys, so once it's finished, it will say to download this file with slow speed, use the link. You're just gonna click on that link, and then it should start downloading at the bottom. Now, it will take a bit of a while to uh, download based on how big your game is. Um, but yeah, that's that's all you have to do for the, uh, the NDS like, ROM for the game. Now I'm going to show you what to do when you go to download the emulator. So all you do is click on the emulators tab over here. And then the one I personally use is uh, Desmoomy. Um, so yeah, all you have to do is just click on it and it starts downloading like right away. So it's very easy. So now I'm just going to go to the desktop and show you what to do from there. Okay guys, so um, once you have located where your downloads are for the emulator and the uh, the ROM, all you're going to want to do is just extract them both. So it's just as simple as you just open it. Then all you have to do is yeah, just drop and drag the content into a folder like I've got over the left side of the screen. There, and then what you're going to do is open the second one which is going to be your ROM um, your Nintendo DS game and as you see there should only be one thing here and it should be an NDS file and then you're just going to create another folder for that but as you can see I've already got the game inside of my folder so then you just drop and drag it in like normal and yeah it's as easy as that guys now I'm going to be showing you the emulator in action in just a second okay guys so once you have the emulator open all you're gonna have to do is just go to file click open ROM and then you will now have to look for your game so mine is here and once you locate it it should then um, start up for you guys and you should then be able to see it on the screen and yeah there we go, as you can see, it's now working fine. Apart from the only other thing though is I'm getting a slight bit of lag because obviously I'm um, actually recording it. But normally you shouldn't get this lag and actually I'm just going to um, reduce my frame skip a little. Okay, uh, that seems a little bit better. Okay, so yeah so that's basically it really and um, 
You, you can also change, actually I'm going to change the orientation really quickly because um, it does actually look kind of weird like this. So as you can see, I've now got it sideways and it should look a lot bigger now uh, actually on the um, actually on the screen. So yeah. And yeah, everything all works perfectly. So and the other thing as well, if you did want to kind of save your progress if you were doing this on a YouTube series, you'd just go file and then you'd go save state and you'd click the number one up there and then as you can see when I go file load state it comes up now with a date and you're just going to click that and it will then say it's been loaded from that slot okay guys I'm just going to make a quick announcement um, so I'll just exit out of this Okay guys, so the announcement um, I just wanted to say after this tutorial is um, um, I'm actually going to be starting a new series on this channel. Uh, it's going to be me playing uh, Nintendo DS games and the game you actually just saw, The Professor in the Curious Village, I'm going to be playing that in my next video. Um, the videos are going to be roughly about 20 minutes long because it's good, it's a really big game, the Professor Layton, I don't think I'm going to get enough done in 10 minutes. So I'm going to be doing a 20 minute video there. And um, yeah, I'm going to be doing uh, quite a lot on it as well. Um, so yeah, hopefully it will be a good new series that you can watch. Because I wouldn't say I've been getting bored with the tutorials and the internet games. I just want to do kind of something, something new on the channel so this is what I thought of and yeah I'll see you guys next time in my next video when I play Professor Layton Curious Village so tara guys